that the Mouse Store in Phoenix welcomes the Christmas chaos. We're kind of in a war against our customers where it's like, who can make more versus buy more. It's My money is on the store. Check this out. Hungry customers wrap around the building before opening time and run in as fast as they can to get their hands on the malas. It's amazing. We make most of, you know, our money for the year in this month. You know, this month is what sustains us every single year. No quiero que... Eddie Pimienta says his mother, Marta Rocio Castillo, opened up shop 15 years ago, bringing her tamal recipe from Mexico City and perfecting it in the valley. A recipe for success. It's a, it's a great validation of what we do and what we've kind of dedicated our lives to. This week, employees are working overtime, coming in before the crack of dawn and leaving when the sun goes down after preparing thousands of tamales. We know how to package them, make them, freeze them, sell them so that everything's fresh on Christmas Day for everybody. It's a labor of love strengthened by Mexican roots proudly displayed throughout the store. We try to represent that every day in what we do, and, and the flavors are what really tell it. Flavors of a Christmas tradition his customers can take to their tables. Growing up, we always had friends who had family that made them, uh, and uh, over the years, I've lost touch with them, so it's nice to have a store to come get them from. And to share a meal that brings families closer together. I just like knowing that I can, like, keep on that tradition. And when you go to open it in the corn husk, it's like a little present, you know, that you can eat. The store is no longer taking pre-orders, but don't worry, they still have thousands of tamales for you to just come walking in and taking some home. Just make sure you stop by from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. before Christmas Eve because they will be closed for the holidays. Reporting in Phoenix, Casey Torres, Arizona's Family.